Nearing with Air Server. Let's say you have an iPad, and you do lots of great things on that iPad. Say, for example, browsing photos. Well, wouldn't it be nice if you could wirelessly show the iPad screen on some other monitor so that other people could see exactly what you're doing? Well, you can. First, you need a computer, and that computer needs to be running some software called Air Server. What Air Server does is it mirrors or reflects everything that's happening on your iPad on the screen of the computer wirelessly so that every app you launch on the iPad also shows on the computer screen. To make this even better, let's say your computer is hooked up to a projector. Well, now your iPad will wirelessly display its screen on the computer and then that will be projected on your projector screen. So all of those great photos that you're browsing, web pages, or any other media you're looking at on your iPad will be reflected both on your computer and your projection screen so that others could see exactly what you're doing. Let's take a look at mirroring with Air Server in action. In order to mirror on your iPad, swipe up from the bottom of the screen. This brings up Control Center. Make sure you're connected to the Wi-Fi and tap on the AirPlay button. This will give you a list of all the available Air servers nearby that you can connect to. Locate the classroom you're interested in connecting to and tap on it. Once you tap on it, make sure the green mirroring button is selected and your screen should be mirrored on your secondary device. Notice how everything you do on your iPad is shown on that other monitor. Once set up, Air Server should work really well. However, occasionally issues arise, so let's do some troubleshooting. If there's ever a problem with your Air Server, the first thing you should look at are iPad software updates. Are there any new updates that you need to install on your iPad? To figure it out, go into the Settings app, tap on General, and then Software Update, and make sure that your iOS is completely up to date. Once we've established that your iPad software is up to date, we need to look and see if Air Server requires any software updates. There's a quick and easy way to determine this by looking at your iPad. Take a look at the list of available Air Server computers nearby. If your classroom has the camera icon next to it, you're out of date. If it has the TV display, you're good to go. If you do need to update your Air Server, on your PC, click on the small triangle in the bottom right corner then on the Air Server icon, and then on Check for Updates. Air Server will search to see if updates are available. If not, you're good to go. But if there are updates, please be sure and run them before trying to mirror your iPad again. Once you've checked to make sure that both your iPad and Air Server are completely up to date, you can try and mirror your iPad again. If it still doesn't work, there's probably one other issue going on, and that is that your iPad is not assigned to the correct group on our district network. In order to fix this, we need to know a piece of information from your iPad known as the MAC address or Wi-Fi address. To determine your MAC address, simply tap on Settings, General, and then About on your iPad, and scroll down until you see Wi-Fi address. This code number is your MAC address, and that's what we need to help get your mirroring up and running. Simply send me an email with your name, classroom, and this number, and we can work on getting everything in place so that your mirroring will function. Thanks.